Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Thursday, November 30th. I'm Christy Matino. We start off with some sad news this morning. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger has died at the age of 100. He passed away at his home in Connecticut on Wednesday night. Kissinger served as Secretary of State under Presidents Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford from 1969 to 1977, playing a central role in opening up relations with China, ending the war in Vietnam, and assisting Israel during the 1973 Yom Kippur War. He has received numerous honors throughout his life, such as the Nobel Peace Prize in 1973, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and the Medal of Liberty. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem shared her reaction to his death when the news broke. He was a leader that led through challenging times, and I hope that everyone's reaction to his passing is to go learn a little bit more about him that you didn't know before. Many times throughout history, the United States of America went through dark times, and leaders like Kissinger stood up and they took action and they provided leadership when we needed it the most. And it's been a long time coming. Tonight, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and California Governor Gavin Newsom will face off in a 90-minute debate. Now, this all comes after Newsom agreed to challenge the Florida governor just a few months ago during another interview with Fox News' Sean Hannity. I'm all in. Count on You, you would do a two-hour debate with Ron DeSantis. I'd make it three. Both governors have presidential hopes. Newsom talked about eventually running, although he is currently backing President Joe Biden's re-election campaign. And as for DeSantis, he entered the GOP presidential race six months ago as the perceived top challenger against former President Donald Trump, although DeSantis is still trailing him in the polls. Hannity will host tonight's Great Red vs. Blue State debate, which will air tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And Senator Lindsey Graham is calling on Texas Governor Greg Abbott to send busloads of migrants to senators who are opposing border security. Now, this comes in response to 10 Democratic senators who recently circulated a letter opposing border security negotiations. Make it real to those 10 senators in their states what you've been dealing with in Texas. Instead of sending them all to New York, why don't you look at the states in question? Uh, uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Oregon. Governor Abbott, make it real to these 10 senators what it's like to live with a broken border. On Wednesday, Senator Alex Padilla shared that letter on social media, which pushed back on the inclusion of border security measures within aid packages for Ukraine, Israel, and Gaza. Now, in response, Graham said he was, quote, not going to give money to foreign countries until we secure our own border. Earlier this year, more than 2 million immigrants crossed the southern border illegally and have been released into the United States since 2021. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.